Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome and thank you for coming to the graduation ceremony for the Buckeye Valley High School class of 2022. Would everyone please stand and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the graduation of the class of 2022. Now, I don't know who gave us permission to be here today, but somehow we've made it. For some of us, it has felt like the longest 12 years ever, and considering we've only been around for about 18, that's saying something. For others, however, the time has flown by as we reach the end of our childhood days and move into adulthood. Either way, this is a day to remember. Today, we can finally say we finished pulling the all-nighters and completed the practices in the gyms and the fields. At least for high school, because ahead of us lies the next great chapter of our lives. For many of us, myself included, BV is the only school we've ever known. And after 12 years of seeing the same friends each day, it is evident to me that this class has become one of the strongest to grace our halls. We've lost friends and family, years of experience due to disease, and yet our unity has only grown through the difficulty. In middle school, we were often known as the class of troublemakers, the class every teacher dreaded because we were disruptive and malicious. Since then, our reputation has changed. Now, we are known as one of the strongest classes, not necessarily because we're little angels and always do what we're told, but because we stand up for ourselves and for others. If you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. We pick on and tease each other, sure, but don't think for one second that you can do the same. We will fight for each other against all odds, and even when it seems there's no way we will get through, this class pulls through. The class of 22 will see success one way or another, and I believe that makes us a force to be reckoned with. As some of you may have heard, our class motto is a little bit different from those of previous years. Uh, be like LeBron was our chosen motto. Some of you may even laugh a little at that. But let me tell you, this motto is simply a testament to our camaraderie. Ask a graduate when you get the chance just what it means to them, and you'll see there's a deeper meaning to what you describe as silly. And we did try to get LeBron to send us a congratulations message, but alas, he did not. Family, friends, faculty, thank you for pushing us forward over the course of the years. Supporting us and challenging us has had an effect on who we are and how this class has come to define itself. We would not be who we are today without all of you behind us, spurring us forward. To my fellow graduates, our moment has come. Take a moment to reflect, but after this, let's look forward to the luminous futures ahead of us. It may seem like we have all the time in the world, but those days will pass as quickly as these have. 
Cherish them for what each is. And remember, this class will always be ready to fight with you. Congratulations, class of 2022. You have the strength to change the world. Thank you, Nora. And yes, uh, I think Dr. Froelich and I both definitely remember those middle school years. <laughs> well, good afternoon. My name is Brian Baker, and I have had the honor to serve as high school principal these past two years. At the high school level, it truly takes a village in order to give students a wonderful high school experience to create memories that will last a lifetime. My role today is to take time and thank the many important people that make a quality BV education possible. So get your hands ready. Here we go. Please wave if you are mentioned or a part of one of these groups. First, to our five Board of Education members, Mrs. Dutt, Mr. White, Mr. Dickey, Mr. Alabuni, and Mrs. Scowden. To our superintendent that started the year and has been our superintendent for nine years, Dr. Andy Miller. <laughs> to our interim superintendent, Dr. Jeremy Froelich. <laughs> to our incoming superintendent, Mr. Paul Kraft. And to the rest of our team of administrators, including high school assistant principals, Mr. Rupp and Mr. Yinger. <laughs> to our graduation committee, to Mrs. Harrell, and a special thanks to Mrs. Velalise, our senior class advisor, for her dedication to planning this ceremony year after year. To our counselors, Mrs. Burkhart, Ms. Combs, and Mrs. Kress for their hours of organizing awards, credits, and most importantly, providing emotional stability to our students. <laughs> to our amazing teachers and support staff that are in attendance today, whether they are behind me or in the audience, thank you. To our parents for sharing your kids with us every single day and all the years of teaching them values that have helped make them the people they are today and the people they will become. <laughs> to the parents and staff that have volunteered hours in the arts and athletics, thank you for making BV such a well-rounded education focused on the whole student. Thank you. <laughs> Students, this is now the time to look out into the crowd and give your parents a round of applause for the last 18 years. Finally, I would like to ask anyone who has served our country in the armed forces and any graduates that have signed to serve our country to please stand. Thank you for your service to our great nation. The class of 2022 is a very special and resilient group of students that excel academically, in the arts, and athletically. They have won countless awards, both as teams and individually. I have personally seen this class grow and mature to become leaders at the high school. This class sticks together and supports one another no matter what. My hope is that students, you stay in touch with each other over the years and continue to support each other. Thank you for all the memories and for making all of us proud. 
I know you will do great things in the future. At this time, I would like to now introduce one of our valid Victorians to speak, Sydney Schmaltz. Good afternoon. Many of you may not know me because I moved into the district my junior year. As I walked through the halls of BV on my first day, I was terrified. <laughs> All I saw was a sea of unknown faces, and I had no idea what this new school would be like. I became a little worried when a complete stranger walked up to me in the hallway, stared at me for a minute, and then informed me that I was, quote, insanely tall. <laughs> now I know that's just Mike Cho. <laughs> and he continues to remind me of that every single day. After two years at BV, I can confidently say that there is nowhere else that I would have rather been. I've learned a lot of lessons throughout my high school career, so I thought that today I would share some. One, high school is not the culmination of life. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and this is just a stepping stone to the rest of it. For some, this is the best four years of their lives. For others, the worst. No matter what, High school does not define the rest of your life. Right now is just the beginning. The world is such a big place, and there's so much more for us to experience than just what occurred within the walls of Buckeye Valley High School. Two, if it's not going to matter in three years, it's not worth stressing over for more than three minutes. While something may seem like the end of the world right now, I promise you, it's not. Standing here, Looking back on the last four years, I now know that most of the things I stressed about were so minute that it was really just a waste of my time. Three, nowadays, there is so much pressure on us to have our lives figured out by the age of 18, but the reality is we really don't. It's okay to not know what you wanna do right now. The rest of your life will take you there. What is important for us in the next few years is to figure out what is important to you, what you stand for, and what you want to get out of your life. Once you take the time to find yourself, then everything else is gonna fall into place. Four, find your people, or as my mom would say, your tribe, and cling to them. They are those who will stay by your side through the fits of laughter and the moments of tears. For me, I would like to thank my friends, both old and new, my sisters, my family, my boyfriend, my first and closest BV friend, Raven Rockwell, and my amazing mother, who spent countless nights staying up late just to talk to me about the stressors of my day or to help me with my CAP government homework. And those teachers, who had no reason whatsoever to care about my life outside of academics, yet who spent countless of class times giving advice, helping apply for scholarships, or even picking out my graduation dress. Thanks, Ms. Stump. These people have all gotten me through these years that are often regarded by most as some of the most difficult times of their lives. Without them, I would not be the person that I am today. So find your people, because I promise you life becomes so much easier when you have a foundation of support to lean on. Five, while we may not remember the unit circle or the elements on the periodic table, at the end of the day, what we will remember are the life lessons learned and the memories made. Between the countless amazing theater productions put on, the numerous MSL titles won by varying teams, beating Delaware Hayes in football for the first time in 10 years, <laughs> the many trophies won by the Vision Show Choir, breaking the record for most donations in No Shave November, and many, many more. These memories have intertwined us all, and we will forever have a connection because of them. We will take these all with us and remember them fondly. What we will also remember are the lessons that we have learned. Each one has shaped us into the people that we are today and will continue to mold us far into the future. If we take what we have learned and use it, 
I know without a doubt we will each be successful and thrive. And if you take nothing else from the last four years, I hope that you remember to no matter what, always do your best and be like LeBron. Thank you.
To those who are gathered here today, my fellow classmates, our teachers, our parents and relatives, I'm sure that all of you are thinking the same thing. Is Max Frankel really the class of 22's valedictorian? <laughs> Seems almost oxymoronic, a bit like the words deafening silence, definite maybe, or the phrase Mike Cho, star chess player. Yet somehow, for some reason or another, I'm here and, let's be honest, you all kinda knew this would happen. Above all, my position here today is a testament to the fact that sometimes, when you work moderately hard, briefly peruse the doors of opportunity surrounding you, take a few risks, some things turn out, well, more or less exactly the way everyone expected. And you know what? Expected outcomes are great. Some of my favorite things in the universe rest on the basis of predictable patterns. I've always been consoled by the cold, calculated logic which underpins mathematics, the discrete rules which underline the physical sciences, and, in freshman history, the absolute guarantee that Mr. DeSabado would spend 70% of our class time discussing modern politics. Constants such as these, dependable, predictable events, have always felt like home, giving me a sense of security, order, and calm in an otherwise chaotic universe. But all of you, my companions in the class of 2022, you're also incredibly weird, bizarre, abnormal, unpredictable. See, in the realm of numbers, two and two will always make a four. The system of mathematics is intrinsically dependent on this being true. But in, unlike in the world of sciences, the pillars of social behavior can be broken at a moment's notice. Whether it be an impromptu championing of my world-class hopscotching abilities, a confrontation on the consequences of my debilitating fun dip addiction, or a criticism of my continued lack of communication, my interactions in high school were always mirrored in absurdity. How was I supposed to communicate in a world whose most fundamental laws I couldn't understand, where rules seemed arbitrary and feelings could change at a whim, in a world I couldn't command, study, or control? Unfortunately for me, there were no formulas for friendships or study guides for speaking. I couldn't control the weirdness and illogical sentiments found in a world of people, leaving me with no choice but to reject a search for a rationally-minded view of relationships and to come to the inherent weirdness found within them. And somehow, once you eschew the principles of predictable logic and embrace the chaotic world of the unknown, things begin to make a bit more sense. That is, they still don't make sense, but once you accept the inherent absurdity that surrounds you, they no longer need to. If Mike Cho wants to challenge me to a 35th chess game after horrendously losing the first 34, more power to him. Sure, such a decision may be illogical, but who said it couldn't be? And perhaps the most absurd fact of all is this. On an Earth which is billions of years old, and on a planet which encompasses millions of miles, we've been able to exist in the exact right time and place to meet each other. Whether this was a result of faith or, you know, a mathematical and probabilistic necessity pre-mediated by the simple underpinnings of random distributions isn't really important. The mere fact that we exist as compatriots in space-time is intrinsically special. All of us are prisoners of the same crowded, chaotic, weirdly wonderful spaceship, whether we like it or not. And in our short speck of time in this world, it's truly our interactions with this odd and amazing group of people stuck here with us that makes life worth it. Sure, I don't remember the gay grades I got on every CAP government test, although admittedly I do have a pretty good guess as to what most of them were. Yet I do remember the chaotic fun spent with friends in monthly review sessions. I don't remember every drill done in marching band, but I sure remember being spoon-fed ice cream by Tyler while racing back to get to practice on time. Whether it be bringing a recliner to school, giving out jumping high fives in the hallway, or intertwining the speech with not so subtle jabs at Mike Cho, my best memories of the past 12 years have been those spent with all of you, you lovely, lively bunch of chaotic individuals. Evidently, you all realized it sooner than I did, but we're the reason that all of this is so special. In my view, the best response to an absurd universe is not to dilute the impossible into some simple formula, but to enjoy the friendships, humor, and above all, the chaos of all those trapped here with us. While each of our interweaving timelines will inevitably split as we go our own separate ways, to the rest of the class of 2022, I'm so glad that I could spend these past few years so utterly and joyfully confused along with you. Thank you.
Well, good afternoon, graduates, staff, family, and friends. Um, my name is Jeremy Froelich, and I've been blessed to be the interim superintendent for the, the remainder of this school year. Um, and I feel very lucky to have this opportunity to address the class of 2022 one final time. This class holds a special place in my heart as I was lucky enough to be their assistant principal for uh, three years at Buckeye Valley Middle School and have enjoyed seeing the, the many successes they have achieved over the last seven years. I hope I don't hurt their feelings when I, I mention this, but when I made the transition from the high school to the middle school, I'd asked a, a few questions of some of the middle school staff about the different grade levels and their needs and behaviors. And shockingly, this group was not named as the model of exemplary student behavior. Um, and it didn't take me long to realize that there may have been some truth in that behavioral assessment. However, it didn't take me long to realize how special the students in this class are. One of the reasons this class is special is they're so resilient. This class has had the unfortunate luck to fully experience COVID-19 and its impact on our district. The class of 2022 is here today despite having three or four high school years disrupted in some way by COVID. They endured months worth of days in quarantine or isolation. They had band performances, vision contests, and sports seasons canceled. They had Schoology classes, they had virtual classes, they had hybrid classes, they had regular classes. They had to spend over a year wearing masks in their classes and events, and despite all these challenges, the class of 2022 has persevered and reached this milestone in their lives today. Don't let your resiliency end here. As you enter the next stage of your life, whether it be in the workforce, the military, additional schooling or training, find your passion and go get it. There are always gonna be obstacles along the way, but don't let them derail you. If someone says you can't, use that as motivation and prove them wrong. If you make a mistake, own it, learn from it, and do better next time. If you fall, get up, dust yourself off, and try again. Adversity makes us stronger, and you'll appreciate your success that much more, having overcome the challenges along your life's path. I am so proud of the class of 2022. Having watched this group grow and mature, I know they are destined for great things ahead. And their graduation from Buckeye Valley High School is just one of the many successes the members of this class will celebrate. I'm hopeful they'll look back at their time at Buckeye Valley and remember the impact that your friends, coaches, advisors, counselors, staff, bus drivers, and maybe even an assistant middle school principal um, had on your time at Buckeye Valley and hopefully that we made that time a little bit better. I'm rooting for you and will continue to root for all of you to be able to achieve all your dreams. Class of 2020, 2022, congratulations on this achievement and good luck as you move towards your next. Good afternoon. Two quick things. Yes, Sydney is still tall, and yes, I will beat you, Max, in chess. But never mind that. I would like to present our class to our school. I would like to present our class gift to our school who has seen our class through its ups and its downs. A class who left middle school with a record high in detentions that has now become a leader within our school. <laughs> We, as a 9-in-1 family, feel it is only right to give back and show our appreciation to the school that endured with us and helped us reach this point of success in our lives. To the administration that led us through trying times fearlessly. To the teachers that shaped our futures and developed lifelong relationships with us. To the custodian and cafeteria staff that quietly, yet tirelessly, cleaned up after us and made us feel safe during the pandemic. To our parents, that watched us and took care of us every single day. It is my honor on behalf of the class of 2022 to present the following class gifts. To the Specialized Skills Unit, we are purchasing baking supplies for students who have started the new Barron's Bakery. This is helping raise money to buy special items to students as well as teaching them essential life skills. And finally, to Dr. Miller, who devoted many years to the Buckeye Valley community and nine years as our beloved superintendent. We would like to thank you with the Miller's Snack Shack sign placed on our Buckeye Valley concession stand. Thank you, Buckeye Valley. <laughs> you. We, as the class of 2022, hope these gifts are remembered as a symbol to show our gratitude to all of you.
on behalf of the administration, the Buckeye Valley Local Board of Education and the faculty and staff of Buckeye Valley High School, I gratefully accept this gift from the class of 2022. <laughs> Mrs. Dutt, board president, would you please join me at the podium? With the authority and responsibility vested in me as the principal of Buckeye Valley High School, I certify that the students about to be named have fulfilled all the requirements of the Department of Education, the State of Ohio, and the more rigorous requirements of the Buckeye Valley Local School District. I present to you for the awarding of diplomas the Buckeye Valley High School Class of 2022. By the authority vested in me as the president of the Board of Education of the Buckeye Valley Local School District, Delaware County, Ohio, I accept these candidates for graduation in the class of 2022. Diplomas signifying the completion of all state and local requirements may be presented at this time. Trinity Rain Adair. <laughs> Abigail Holly Adams. <laughs> Abriana Nicole Ash. Timothy Michael Ashburn. <laughs> Michaela Elizabeth Bayless. <laughs> Christopher Haven Beaver. Courtney Marie Benecke. Nathan Scott Blacker. Kyra Alicia Blackstone. Blake Michael Blair. Abby Jean Blankenship. <laughs> Sasha Blue Bogdanovich.
Mackenzie Faith Bone. Kaylee Ema Born. Neil Howard Boyles. Alexander William Brown. Amanda Maria Buker. Aaron McKenna Burke. Mike Lee Cho. Riley Aaron Cole. Joshua William Cooper. Catherine Samantha Coulter. Chandler David Cox. <laughs> Owen Miller Cron. <laughs> Kaya Gage Creek McNichols. Aiden David Chrisman. Autumn Elizabeth Cyrus. Landon James DeWitt. Kaylin Jonathan DeBucky. Dalton James Dodds. <laughs> Creston Thomas Drake. <laughs> Hayden Lucas Dunlap. Ashton James Erickson. <laughs> Joseph Carter Urez. <laughs> Jackson Dean Evans. Lillian May Fathbruckner.
Jocelyn Eden Fadausch. Tyler Francis Benstermaker. Trevor Wayne Fields. Ryan Michael Fisher. <laughs> Lana May Flynn. <laughs> Alec Justin Foltz. Isabella Joy Frankel. <laughs> Maxwell David Frankel. <laughs> Gabriel Scott Friley. Isaac Dale Garrett. <laughs> Nate Joseph Gibbs. <laughs> Shelby Leanne Gibson. Jesse Esteban Gonzalez. Hannah Elizabeth Goodman. <laughs> Eli Anthony Graham. <laughs> Gabriel Sean Grothas. <laughs> Ashton Trace Hager. Jenny Marie Hall. Audrey Marie Hansen. Emma Paige Haynes. Shailen Michelle Helber. <laughs> Michaela Dawn Helms. <laughs> Abigail Naomi Helton.
Alexa Bryn Hennep. Rebecca Melody Harriet. <laughs> Katie Elizabeth Holcomb. <laughs> Austin Taft Hollingsworth. Olivia Buffy Holtz. Desiree Denise Honiter. Connor Matthew Hoy. Jack Edward Houston. Lillian Grace Irvine. Mackenzie Lynn Jenkins. Trevor Owen Jones. Yeah. Kylie Hope Zenny Jordan. Karina Lynn Jumper. Christian David Carnofel. <laughs> Ryan Christopher Knapp. <laughs> Ross McCoy Akalia K. Alakai Kintari Knapp. Roger Bruce Kennedy. Bradley Robert Kaler. Brady Alinder Kowalik. Annabelle Claire Kazelka. <laughs> Alexander James Crake. <laughs> Gabriella Elizabeth Keebler. Mason Joseph Kurtz.
Catherine Corinne Larson. <laughs> Dustin Robert Lindsay. Cameron Jacob Loesch. Zane Trent Lucas. Riley Lynn Lucart. Caitlin Elizabeth Mack. <laughs> Logan Michael Mack. <laughs> Bo Morgan Manning. Isaiah John Marstiller. <laughs> Caleb Parker Mayo. Montana Ray McElhaney. <laughs> Paul Eldon Myers. <laughs> Cecilia Justine Michael. Marco Pavle Milinkovsky. <laughs> Jayla Whitfield Mills. <laughs> Eric Wayne Mooney. <laughs> Chloe Jalen Moore. <laughs> Eleanor Elise Newland. <laughs> Owen Christopher Osborne. <laughs> Ella Kathleen Page. Madeline May Patch. <laughs> okay, smile. <laughs> we will fix it. Nina Dorothea Peak. Bella Elise Penry. Yeah. 
Angelina Elizabeth Perry. Schwinn Patricia Ruth Radloff. <laughs> Nolan Adam Ralph. <laughs> Luke David Reno. Nora May Rhodes. John Thomas Richardson. Raven Mercedes Rockwell. Pedro Miles Aiden Rodriguez. Colin Keith Ross. Myra Sue Sabo. Brianna Lynn Schaber. Benjamin Daniel Schick. Andrew James Schilling. Sydney Reagan Schmaltz. Braden Daniels Schnell. Sierra Marie Schneller. Kylie Allison Schuttinger. Troy William Scowden. Nicholas Howard Shear. Ryan Emmanuel Shear. Hunter Lee Shock. <laughs> Stephen Quabena Shui. <laughs> Anna Corinne Silva. Rebecca Lynn Simmons. 
Brooke Elizabeth Skinner. <laughs> Dayton Alexander Slagle. Bruce Charles Daniel Slane. <laughs> Blake Allen Smith. Cameron Todd Smith. <laughs> Victoria Ellen Smith. <laughs> Jacob Allen Smothers. Chesney Corinne Stanley. <laughs> Emma Nicole Stanley. Kimber Leanne Stover. Isaac Jason Tackett. Ashton Ryan Taylor. <laughs> Noah Tyler Tubal. <laughs> Kyrieann Maybell Vale Frakel. Andrew Wayne Van Hoos. <laughs> Stephanie Funsale. <laughs> Nicholas Keith Vanderhoff. Andreas David Vasquez. <laughs> Carson Scott Michael Vox.
Matthew Shin Viri Donahue. Heather Roxanne Workman. Rudolph Lance Zupank. Good afternoon. As the president of our National Honor Society chapter, today, on behalf of my graduating class, I will be accepting the diplomas. I would like to take this moment to reflect. My fellow classmates, if you know you demonstrated excellence each day and this diploma reflects your efforts, congratulations. But if you know this paper you will receive today is not a product of your best, know that this is a beginning. I want to take you all back to a moment a lot of us know all too well, the minutes before a test, running the equations, vocabulary, and notes through your head, and possibly through the hallways as well. Now for some, the mere mention of a test spawns anxiety, fear, a lot of heavy sighs, sometimes heightened by procrastination, but tests are mere tools to measure knowledge. This is not just the curriculum, trivial to everyday lives, but the rudimentary aspects of success for life ahead. Showing up on time, preparing beforehand, performing under stress, the test measures content learned inside and outside the classroom. The best aspect of a test is also its worst aspect. It will end. Many are not afraid of the test with the time limit. Eventually, we will have to turn in the test. When we first entered high school, we were told that the four years will go by quickly. And when each day is a little bit different, filled with things vying for our attention, the idea we would eventually leave doesn't cross our minds until suddenly it does. Four years, then a month, a week, and then days, the time we never got enough of somehow begins to shrink even further till the final bell rings and it's over. We answer the final question. We hit the submit button or we bring the test up to the desk and we move on to the next stressor because many times, it's the only thing we can do. Let today be an exception. Our time at Buckeye Valley High School might be over, but, we, but the times we spent together has changed us and prepared us for the challenges we will face ahead. Everything we learned can be taken to the next chapter in our lives. Whatever test exists for us ahead, I encourage all of us to look beyond academics and the belief that school only teaches in classrooms and reflect on how much we taught each other. How to show you care. Be able to admit when you're wrong. The future is not just about when we get to work, when we fall in line with everyone else. It's our lives. Let us leave today continuing to learn, continuing to take action and use what these diplomas stand for to make ourselves and the world a little bit better. At this time, it's with great honor and pride that accept the diplomas for the Buckeye Valley graduating class of 2022. Congratulations, graduates.
Would everyone please stand? <laughs> In your program, you will find the words to the Buckeye Valley High School alma mater. We ask that you all sing along with us. And following the alma mater, we ask everyone to please remain standing for the class of 2022 recessional. And now I invite everyone to join us in the traditional singing of the Buckeye Valley High School alma mater. <laughs> 